Federal appeals court greenlights vax mandate for New York's healthcare front line, and the federal vaccination rule will allow employers to charge unvaccinated workers for COVID tests. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, November 3rd, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member. You can enroll quickly on our website at NACACNA.org. Join today and stand up for what you deserve. A three-member panel in Manhattan has reversed a lower court's ruling and shrugged off protests over a lack of religious exemptions, paving the way for the state of New York to mandate its health care staff to get a COVID-19 vaccine. An attorney for the plaintiffs vowed to appeal to the Supreme Court, but that body also on Friday rejected arguments in a similar case based in Maine. An upstate New York judge had temporarily blocked the state's vaccination requirements over objections that it did not accommodate religious exemptions. Judges in the Second Circuit Court of Appeals, however, agreed with the case's original Brooklyn judge who ruled in favor of the mandate. Plaintiff's attorney Cameron Lee Atkinson argued, quote, New York's mandate forces an abominable choice on New York health care workers abandon their faith or lose their careers. He and his three clients, all nurses who refuse to get vaccinated, quote, remain optimistic that the United States Supreme Court will strike down New York's discriminatory mandate as violating the First Amendment. In August, the state announced that nursing home and hospital staff needed to get at least their first COVID-19 shot by September 27th. That was eventually expanded to include assisted living, home health, hospice, and others. Large companies whose workers refuse a COVID-19 vaccine will be allowed to make those employees pay for weekly tests and PPE under the federal government's impending workplace safety rule for private sector employees. Those details are included in an emergency rule set to be released this week by OSHA, according to a report by Bloomberg Law. Two sources familiar with the rule said the ability to pass on costs is meant to compel workers to get vaccinated. Employers, however, will be required to absorb testing and mask costs when a worker qualifies for a vaccine exemption, and companies could also be ordered to pay for testing costs if subject to a union bargaining agreement, according to the report. Unvaccinated workers will also be required to wear masks while indoors and when in close contact with other co-workers. Quote, an administration official speaking on condition of anonymity said that any details of the forthcoming OSHA rule are premature and that the rule will be discussed in detail once publicly available in the Federal Register, the report said. President Joe Biden first announced the mandate for all employers with 100 or more workers in early September. The requirement could carry a $14,000 fine per violation and would affect two-thirds of the country's workforce, according to officials. The rule is also in addition to a health care worker vaccine mandate announced by Biden in early September as well. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.